What's going on folks? It's Matt here from Polar Designs and we're here with another great video where today we're going to talk about uh, my printers that I have uh, in my house. I have Ender 3 Pros. We have two of them right here. This one I'm borrowing. This one is mine. Uh, this one is a bone dry stock Ender 3 Pro and this one is a I would call slightly to heavily modified uh, with both printable and non-printed upgrades. So I'm going to kind of go over this printer here and explain some of the different upgrades uh, and how they benefit compared to maybe you know the stock printer. So let's get started. The Ender 3 Pro is a great starter printer for people who are looking to get into 3D printing. Uh, it's open source, meaning you know you can mess with it in any way you want. You can add different stuff. You can upgrade the the hardware. You can upgrade the main board. You can do anything. You can use a, a variety of different slicers, from Cura uh, to Prusa to slicer to uh, any slicer basically that you want uh, that runs G-code will run the Ender 3. So the first thing I did whenever I got this was I printed this tray. Now this tray right here is super helpful. I strongly suggest that anyone who has an Ender 3 Pro or Ender 3 prints this guy out. It's, it snaps right into those rails on either side um, and it's great for you know keeping all your little junk from you know from extra uh, extra nozzles to extra screws to whatever it may be. So that was the first thing I printed. The next thing I printed is right behind it and it's actually some ribbon cable clips for the LCD display and it keeps that LCD display uh, nice and you know in order and you know everybody loves neat cables. The next thing that I believe that I printed for it was these feet. Now these are two part feet. You simply print one part, print the other part, and they go into each other. And this sits perfectly on the bottom of this ender. And it raises it up off the ground just a bit, and it kind of disperses the load uh, across it so it doesn't wobble my, my dresser and uh, make it so that I can hear it down in the basement. So these are really nice. Uh, the next thing is I have a uh, 3D printed back cover for my LCD display. You can see on my stock one, you can actually see uh, you can actually see the board that runs the LCD display. And in this one, it's all nice and covered. And oftentimes, my hands like this whenever I'm trying to navigate it. So it's nice to kind of keep the components safe. Uh, the next thing that I can show you here is on the side, and this is a air vent. Uh, you can see this one here does not have the air vent cover and this air vent cover uses the exact same screws uh, that are used to hold that fan in place so it's a really easy and good upgrade. Uh, it, it's not a huge big, it's not a huge deal, you're not going to get filament stuck behind here or anything but it's, it's a nice little upgrade. Uh, in addition to all my you know random stickers that I've added, let's move on over uh, to underneath here. So the bed leveling screws, you can see those right there, as well as the springs on, on this one over here have been upgraded. Uh, the springs have a much higher tension to them, which keeps the bed much more level uh, for much longer, which is very nice. And these obviously, you know, these guys here, they add just a little bit of steez to it. So real nice, I like them. Um, another thing that I will talk about is my SD card holder. So uh, I did not like the micro SD that comes in it. I, it was just way too small for my, for my fat hands. So I went ahead and bought an adapter. This is a micro SD to SD adapter. And you can see that I also printed uh, a little uh, a little case for it so that it comes in here, goes along the back, comes up, goes through the back, and then a perfect spot right there uh, for that larger SD as opposed to that micro SD. So this is actually one of my, it's super simple, but one of my favorite additions to this printer. Uh, the next one is this guy right here. This is just a simple cap that can be removed. And I figured I was starting to follow a theme with you know my copper slash red and uh, and so I decided to make this guy a little a little dual color print it's a obviously Iron Man cover and uh, we will move up just a little bit over here and you will see that I have 
my uh, one of my two filament guides. This is the lower filament guide, and this has a nice little bearing. Uh, this is a smaller bearing than your typical, you know, skateboard bearing. So I did have to design this custom, and uh, of course I had to color coordinate to match this guy right here. This is super helpful. It really helps you get uh, a nice straight and even entrance into your extruder, which obviously is important uh, for, for good printing. Let's move on over to the extruder that I was just talking about. The entire extruder assembly up top here is replaced. You can see the, uh, the, the stock one is a plastic with, now they added the insert, but this did not have the insert in the plastic when I first purchased it as it is a couple years old. So, uh, so I did uh, replace this and of course it matches this, it matches that, it matches that, it matches that. And, uh, and it's really nice. And I really like this guy right here. And this is, I think I can pull it off. Yep. This is a little knob that I designed. Uh, and it's really nice for, uh, for, for changing filament, taking filament in, putting, or putting filament in, taking filament out. And you can see that this one here does not have it. Now on both of them, I flipped one of these gears upside down just so that I can control it if I need to. But this one just takes it one step further. I also replaced my Bowden tube with, uh, with the good Capricorn blue stuff, and, uh, and I do really like this Capricorn tubing. However, I will say I like being able to see the filament through the stock one. That is one thing I will say. Um, as we move on up, we're getting to the end here. I have uh, this right here, which is my second filament guide. It kind of keeps it so that it comes around in that nice U shape. It doesn't add too much. Uh, width to it uh, and it being up higher isn't that big of an issue so this is another really nice one I've printed a couple of them this piece always seems to break so I do need to print another one of these um, but yeah I have quite a few printed upgrades uh, to my Ender 3 Pro and as I look to get an additional machine I'll continue to modify this possibly even looking at direct drive solutions or even upgrading my hot end, or more importantly, I think, would be upgrading uh, the fan that cools the hot end. So that's all I wanted to talk about today. You can see I got my stock Ender 3 Pro and I got my modified Ender 3 Pro. And I will say both of them are incredible machines. Uh, I haven't had an issue with this one since I've gotten it. So I can't complain. I don't, say, I don't think that these are necessary, but everyone likes to do a little bit to their printer, make it look a little bit nicer and make it run a little bit smoother. So as always, signing off, Matt from Pooler Designs. Stay creative, my friends.